Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Audrey. And today I have for y'all another Rose Gal haul. So a huge thank you to Rose Gal for providing these pieces for me. I did pick all of them out myself, but they did provide them for this video. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So like always, everything you need is going to be in the description box down below. I provide my measurements, the sizes I got. The links are sent to me from Rose Gal. They are not affiliate links, but it does let you know who sent you. So if you do want to use those links, I would really appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first look in this haul. And like always, I will show the picture from online picture of me in it and the trial portion will be playing over here. So the first piece in this haul is this little white floral lace inset, almost a baby doll top and I love baby doll tops. But for this one I went with the 3X as y'all can see. And let me get the fabric for you. This one is 100% polyester. So as you can see you have more of a sheer white with the little orange flowers all over and you've got the floral trim around the neckline in the back and then this little black lace inset at the bust and black buttons here and you do have that baby doll waist with the pretty little pleats and you have a hidden zipper under the right arm i was able to pull this one on without using the zipper at all so it had no problem getting this one on really really comfortable and again i went with the 3x now with rose gal you really have to know your measurements because different pieces will have different measurements so definitely look at the measurements for each and every piece and compare them to yours so for this one i just loved it because it's so pretty and kind of dainty and sweet with that little lace inset now it is a little bit more on the sheer side so i did have to wear a white tank top underneath but i think you can still see where my jeans were <laughs> but it's so pretty and i know that I, this is more of a fall haul but that top i just had to get it because it is just so cute and for this one i did pair it with some black flare jeans that i already had and some little black clogs that i already had i've had them for a long time but i love the overall look i love a baby doll or peplum top with flares i just think it's adorable so highly recommend this one it is more on the sheer side so you will have to wear something underneath and the next look in this haul is this. Now it's listed as light yellow, but to me it looks more beige when I had it on, but it is listed as light yellow. And for this one, I went with the 3X, and this one is 95% polyester, 5% polyurethane. Now I love the texture of this. If y'all look, that is so pretty. This one is really, really soft. If you remember my last Rose Gal haul, I had on the pink little twofer. It was the crossover. It's the same material as that. I just love this one. And you've got the crossover right here at the neck. A little bit of a deep V, but nothing bad. You can't really see anything through it. And I love the look of this. I had on some flare jeans, regular blue jeans, but they were flares love this with that. I just think this is so pretty. It's perfect piece just for running errands. Love the color and the border right here at the bust is just that extra little something. So I'm going to show you that up close right here. I just think that is so pretty. Now I did not layer with this one. As you can see, you can see where my jeans start definitely in this one. If you don't like that, you can always put a little tank top underneath. Now the next top in this haul, I have this gray, this dark gray, and then the heather gray little shawl. It's almost like a scarf crossover top. So for this one, I went with the 4XL, and we're going to talk about the sizing in just a second. But the material on this one is 65% polyester, 35% rayon. Now, I read on, the, there was only a few reviews on their site for this top, and I don't believe the link is working, so it may be sold out, but just keep trying if you do like it. But I tried to get to it, and I think it must be sold out. But this one is a really nice top. As y'all can see, it's a longer one. You have the shirt underneath, and then this part comes across like a scarf and around the back. 
So there weren't many reviews for this top, but one of them said that the sleeves were really tight. So that's why I went ahead and went with the 4XL. But I gotta say, I could have definitely gone with a three, maybe even a two, because the fit of this one is really loose and big. And I will tell you the bust right here kept coming down and showing my bra because this scarf piece in the front was, is so heavy that it started pulling it down. So I would say if you like this one and it's available, if you can find it, <laughs> definitely consider going your, your usual size or a size down. It's really comfortable. I do show it belted. I put on the Amazon belt with this one just to bring in the waist because there's so much fabric in it. And I really liked it once I belted it, but it was still pulling right here at the bust because it was just too loose. So I am still learning Rose Gal sizing, especially for different pieces, but I did read that review and I didn't want it to be too tight, so I did go with the 4XL. But definitely go with a two or a three if you can find it. And the next piece in this haul, I have this mauve crossover cold shoulder top, and I went with the 3X in this one, and I'm gonna get you the material. It is that waffle knit. It's really, really comfortable. But this one is 95% polyester, 5% polyurethane. So the reason that I like this one, because I normally don't do cold shoulder. If y'all have watched me for any amount of time, I'm really not a fan of cold shoulder. But this one, it was just a little bit different, kind of a little bit boho. It reminded me of some free people pieces. And I don't know, I really liked it. I like the crossover. Like I said, it's that waffle knit, really pretty mauve color. And I loved it with the flare jeans. I just love that overall whole look. Normally, I go more classic, even with a vintage touch to a lot of pieces, but sometimes you wanna mix it up a little bit. But I really like this one with the flare jeans. It just kinda of give you, gives you a whole, I don't know, a whole different feeling. So I really like this top, very comfortable, really soft. You don't have to layer anything underneath. I did have on a strapless bra from Vanity Fair. Um, it's just one of, I'll, I'll link it down below if I can find it, but it's really comfortable. And I think it's one of the, the ones that helps with your back, like this part back here, <laughs> helps smooth that out. So I will link that down below if you're interested in that one, but you definitely will need a strapless bra with that top. But I love the overall look, and that one would actually transition into more spring and summer too. So now for the rest of this haul, everything in here is plaid. It was unintentional. I guess I was just in a plaid mood, I guess. I don't know how it happened, but everything from this point on is some kind of plaid. So we're gonna start with this regular button-up shirt. So I went with a red and white little gingham plaid shirt, and this one is actually a 5XL. It's a 5XL, so for the measurements, and I didn't want it to be too tight because I knew I wanted to tie it too occasionally, so I went with a 5XL. Just please y'all follow the measurements and you will understand why my sizes are kind of all over the place. So for this one, it is 100% cotton. So again, there's no stretch in this at all, so that's partly why I went with the 5XL too, but it's just your basic button front collared shirt. You've got the button at the wrist, you've got full buttons down the front, and you've got a pocket on the left side. I love this one because it's so soft and the wrinkles just steamed right out of it and they didn't come back. Luckily, because a lot of times cotton shirts will re-wrinkle, but I really, really like this one. I do show it out so you can see the full length. It's a very generous fit. But this one would be really cute under a sweater. I wanted to pair it with a navy blue cable knit sweater, but I don't have one right now. And so I do show it tied in the front and I show it out, just so you can kind of see the different ways that you could wear it. But this one is just adorable and I loved it with my flare jeans. Again, I'm a flare jean girl, y'all know that, but I love this top, so many options with it. And it's just really, really comfortable. And now the next piece in this haul is another red, but it's a red and navy blue and black plaid. So for this one, I went with the 3X and the material on this one, 90% cotton, 10% polyester. So one call out with this. Now I love this one because it's a little bit different. So on this side, it comes down into, it's got a little pleat here with almost a ruffle. Then on this 
side, a little bit down further, you've got a ruffle that kind of goes up your side. So it's kind of like an asymmetrical, kind of funky little top, but it's so cute. Button front, really, really soft material. I just love this. It feels like an old, old flannel that you've had for years. So, so nice. The only thing is the sleeves are pretty tight. They're not unbearable like I could wear it and be fine and it not bother me but when you go to do like this or move any kind of way you do feel it start to pull right in here so I do provide my upper arm measurements in the description box so you can compare them if they're smaller than mine you should be fine with this top if they're not you might want to size up if that would help I don't know if that would help with the arm measurements but this is an adorable top. I loved it. I had on some black flares with this one and I just love the overall look and you could belt this one too. So I think I belt every one of these from this point on <laughs> and I just love it. I love this top. It's really, really cute. Just watch for the upper arm measurements. And now for the next plaid piece, I have this purple and green and black plaid top. And for this one, I went with the 3X again, and it is a fully zip front. It zips all the way up the front. Let me get the material for you. This one's really, really soft too. So this is 100% cotton. So I'm gonna show you the fabric up close. Really, really soft, and I love the colors in this. So this one is more of an oversized top. It's more of a tunic. So it's pretty long in the front and then very long in the back. Now I do show this one as it is, like uh, not belted or anything, and then I did belt it. So you completely change the look of it when you belt this one with like, I'll use the Amazon cinch belt again, and I loved it. I put on some little black leggings with this, and I just thought it was so cute because I love leggings. They are so comfortable, but I don't want to show, I want my booty to be covered. Like I don't want anything to be showing that shouldn't be. <laughs> so I love a tunic with leggings. I just think it's such a comfortable but cute look, and this top is adorable. So you could easily wear it as it is, you could wear it with leggings, you could pair it with jeans, you could do anything you want to with it, but I think I prefer it belted. I wish that, because the zipper in the front is silver, my belt has a bronzy gold buckle, so I wish I had one that had silver in it. So I think that's the only thing that I would change. If I'm gonna belt it, I would rather have a black and silver one. But that's just my personal preference, but love this top, very, very comfortable. It's warm, but not too hot. Now the next plaid piece in this haul, I have this green, this looks like Christmas to me. So I have this green, red, navy, and black little sweetheart neckline button front top. So you do have buttons all the way down the front. It comes with a sash belt. You do not have any buttons right here in the sleeve. That's the only thing I wish. I wish the sleeve fit a little bit tighter at the wrist, but that's okay. And then you have the white buttons here. I love a sweetheart neckline. I think that is so, so pretty. A little bit of a vintage touch. Now for this one, I went with the 2X based on the measurements and the reviews. And I would say it was almost too big in the bust. So just really be mindful. That's gonna be the theme of the day, just follow the measurements. <laughs> so this was 100% polyester. And I just love this one. It does have that shark hem hemline. So I've never really been a big fan of the shark hem just because working in retail it was like there for some years like a lot of years every plus size piece would have shark hem and and I just I never understood why why does every plus size thing have to have that? <laughs> but with this I don't know it's a little bit different the way it falls on your body the way that it lays it just doesn't look as I don't know. I like this one a whole lot better than I did any of the old ones, but I just love this one. Love the plaid. I like that it has a sash belt with it because you need to bring in that waist, especially with a sweetheart neckline. You just need to accentuate the waist and just to give you that overall really pretty look. So for this one, I did have on those black leggings again, and it's really comfortable and perfect for Christmas day opening gifts. I just think it will be adorable. And now we are at the last piece in this haul. So I went with this blue, white, and black plaid shirt dress. So for this one, I went with the 
3XL in this one. I had to look because the tag was down here. But I went with a 3XL and it is 100% polyester. Again, very, very soft, feels like an old flannel. You've got buttons all the way down the front. You can roll up the sleeves like I did or you can leave them down. It does have a button at the wrist. It comes with a sash belt. I just think this one, the colors are so, so pretty and I love a shirt dress. Um, so I do show this one a couple of different ways, but for this one, I do love it as a dress, but I also thought, well, what about as like a shacket, you know, the shirt jacket things that everybody loves now. So I put it with a white tank top and black leggings to see how that would look with it unbuttoned like a little coat. And I thought that was really cute too, just kind of scooting around, running errands. So I really, really like this dress because it's versatile. You can do so many different things with it. You can leave the sleeves down if you want to. You can roll them up if you want to. You could do so many different things. <laughs> I think she's bored. I don't know if y'all can hear her meowing, but she's up here just meowing at the wall. Um, love the blue plaid. I just think it's so pretty, and it's just a really cute color for the fall because usually you get those earth tones, which are beautiful, but you rarely get baby blue. So I really, really like this one. Very comfortable. The sizing, I would say the 3XL was perfect for me. So if you're close to mine, I think you would love the 3XL in that one. So y'all, that is all I have for y'all today in this haul. And I hope that y'all like some of these pieces. I know I did. There's my little girl. She never likes to be on camera. <laughs> She's not happy. But I hope that y'all like some of these pieces. And a huge thank you to Rose Gal for sending these to me. I love working with them. And they just have some of the most cute, unique pieces that you can find. So y'all, thank you so, so much for being here. Oh, and there is a coupon code in the description box down below. So y'all, thank you so, so much for spending your time with me. And until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon. Bye.